Well, I want to thank Logo and uh, Leader Pelosi. It's always a pleasure to be in the same room with you. Um, I also want to give a shout out to my brothers and sisters in Unite Here International Union. I represent the men and women who are the backbone of the hospitality industry throughout the United States and Canada. You've all benefited from their labor, and I hope you'll stay in union hotels whenever you can. Uh, I thought my life was over before it began. When I was just 15 years old, I knew that I didn't want to be gay because all I ever heard about being gay was that it was sinful, it was sick, and it was illegal. My mom and dad had uh, both had medical issues. There were a lot of pills in the house, and I started stealing them one by one over many weeks until I had quite the stockpile because I knew at some point people were going to discover what I was, and there was only one way out. And then one afternoon, hiding out in the high school library, avoiding the bullies in gym class, I happened to pick up a back issue of Life magazine, the year in review, 1971. And as I opened the pages, I found a headline that said, Homosexuals in Revolt, and a story about the new gay liberation movement. And I flushed those pills down the toilet, and I hitchhiked to San Francisco. I was so fortunate to be mentored by some of the great leaders of our movement, women like Del Martin and Phyllis Lyon, who started the Daughters of Belitis, and of course, my friend Harvey Milk. I got to work with him for 11 months, and then I found his body on the floor, and I thought, well, now it is over. It's all over. He was my mentor. He was like a father to me. He was one of our great leaders. We were trapped there for hours as they bundled up the bodies, and all I could think is, it's over now. It's over. And then the sun went down. And the people began to gather, gay and straight, young and old, black and brown and white, immigrant and native-born, and we marched in silence with our candles down Market Street to fill Civic Center Plaza with our light. And I stood in that crowd and I knew, it's not over, it's just beginning. We continued to fight. I went to work in the legislature. I was assigned to the Assembly Health Committee, and there in June of 1981, I found that first article out of the Centers for Disease Control, describing a new disease that was killing people like me. And I thought, oh no. By 1985, almost everyone I knew was dead or dying or home caring for someone who was dying. And I thought, now it is over. How can we move forward? All of us are going to die. Everyone will fear us. But we acted up, and we made quilts, and we marched, and we got arrested and we fought the government, and we fought the pharmaceutical industry, and we kept fighting. I didn't get sick till 93. Then I got really sick, began to lose my vision. I couldn't walk, and I thought, well, now it's over. I'm done. It's over. But ACT UP stormed the FDA and the NIH and got the medication released that saved my life, and I didn't die. <laughs> now, this past November, I'm sitting in my apartment, my boyfriend's in Washington, D.C. on business, and he's younger than me, we text a lot. And uh, I'm watching the state results come in, and I'm thinking, oh no, this doesn't look good. And then Florida came in, and I texted him, it's over. It's over now. And he texted back, no, honey, don't give up. It's not over yet. And then we lost Pennsylvania, and I thought, well, now it is over. And I picked up the phone, and I started yelling at him, and he listened patiently, and then he cut me off, and he said, honey, you just went from zero to Auschwitz in three minutes. You need to calm down and get to work. And I went down to Castro Street, and that night we marched. First hundreds, then thousands, then tens of thousands, gay and straight, young and old, black and brown and white, immigrant and native-born, and we marched, and we're going to keep on marching because it's not over. And I am 62 years old. I'm healthy. I'm happy. I'm in love. I'm ready for the fight. Bring it on, Trump. Bring it on.